Jeez, I'd be scared to think what uh, <laughs> what kind of teacher kids thought I was. I think I was kind of like not a particularly in control teacher, but maybe that's a good thing. I think that I brought to the classroom as a guy, having lived with five brothers, um, a lot of stuff just didn't phase me, like an unbelievable noise level <laughs> in my classroom, which I noticed was a little different from some of the ladies' classes down the hall, or Miss Alberti, who was in first grade, and everyone listened quietly. I never could get them to do that thing where everyone sits in the circle and listens to each other. After you know, and, and mostly I think because they saw through it and they thought, he doesn't do that. We don't have to do that. Um, but luckily I worked in this school where the headmaster was a great supporter of me too. And one time he said like, Sheska, we have a hard time like taking pictures of your class. Like we go in there and everyone's out of their seats and you just see their butts up in the air. And I thought I was in trouble. And the next thing he said was though, you know, I like that though. It means they're interested. And they were, there's pictures of kids like hunched over the table and they're like looking at the science stuff we're doing or they're checking out the mealworms or they're playing with the math materials. And so I always tried to really motivate kids by getting them excited about stuff and even being a little mysterious about it, just saying like, I don't know, we got this stuff, we have to figure it out, it's up to you guys. And then just lay something on them. And I always found that really piqued their interest better than lecturing them.